How the fetus escapes rejection by the mother has fascinated reproductive biologists and immunologists for decades. Recent advances indicate that a tightly regulated immune environment is required. The maternal immune system plays a critical role in the establishment, maintenance, and completion of a healthy pregnancy. This review is the product of an interdisciplinary collaboration between co-authors who bring clinical and basic science perspectives and expertise in reproductive biology and immunology. We address topics related to the definition of the maternal fetal interface and the significance of the maternal immune system in regulating key early events in pregnancy and in development of the fetal immune system. We review current understanding of cellular and humoral immune mechanisms allowing for maternal tolerance of fetal tissues. Finally, we review the clinical manifestations of an altered maternal immune system during pregnancy. In women, invasion of maternal tissues by the embryo is extensive and requires a pronounced remodeling process of the lining of the uterus, the endometrium. This remodeling process is termed decidualization, in which the maternal immune system plays a critical role. This figure is a schematic representation of the maternal fetal interface, including invasion of the maternal endometrial epithelium by the embryonic trophoblast cells and the various maternal immune cells present in the endometrium of pregnancy, known as the decidua. The most abundant of these cell types are the phenotypically and functionally unique uterine natural killer cells, which make up about 70% of decidual leukocytes in the first trimester, and play an important role in regulating trophoblast invasion, angiogenesis, and vascular remodeling. We next review mechanisms by which the maternal immune response influences development of the fetal immune system. Studies from the laboratory of our co-authors, Dr. Ponzio and Dr. Mandel, have demonstrated that offspring of immunostimulated pregnant mice mount a more robust inflammatory response than offspring of non-stimulated controls, and also exhibit behavioral anomalies reminiscent of those seen in individuals with neurodevelopmental disorders such as schizophrenia and autism. These findings support the concept that in utero exposure to maternal immune stimulation confers an increased risk of developing immune-mediated pathologies postnatally. We also review the mechanisms by which the fetus escapes rejection by the maternal immune system, an age-old question of interest for hundreds of years. Tolerance of the fetus, a foreign tissue, requires a degree of immunosuppression, but at the same time, the mother must maintain sufficient immune function to fight off infection. One mechanism allowing for maternal tolerance of the fetus is the expansion of regulatory T cells in pregnancy, a population of cells with immunosuppressive functions. Another mechanism protecting fetus from maternal rejection is the switch from T helper 1 to T helper 2 type immunity. However, the subsequent suppression of cell mediated immunity also increases maternal susceptibility to infection. In addition, the Th1 Th2 shift also affects the clinical course of maternal autoimmune diseases such as multiple sclerosis and rheumatoid arthritis. Pregnancy is a dynamic state requiring a fine balance between pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory influences to ensure a healthy pregnancy and to promote normal development of the fetal immune system. Our review highlights the substantial progress that has been made in understanding these mechanisms and points out the many unanswered questions that remain.